Here's the rear of the sterilizer. We have the air filter. And the steam manifold with solenoids. And the solenoid is basically an electromechanical valve that magnetically opens the plunger inside to permit flow. This is the pop-off or blow-off valve, which is a pressure relief valve for safety and vents compress steam into the air, which prevents damaging effects caused by overpressurization to the sterilizer chamber. handle is the water shutoff valve. There's the steam strainer. The steam strainer catches all the debris and rust which has a, mag a mesh inside. The steam trap which catches the air and condensation in the lines. This is the water ejector, which is a pump that uses the Venturi effect. Basically reduces the steam pressure and converges or compresses the high incoming pressure, moving at a low velocity or rate of speed to a low pressure that diverges or sucks in and carries along the steam at low pressure, high velocity rate of speed out its discharge in. This is the sight glass that allows the technician to visually see the water level or if it's cloudy or rusted. This is the heat exchanger. The heat exchanger is a device in which heat is transferred between two fluids at different temperatures without mixing the fluids together. It provides better efficient and faster heat transfer such as hot and cold temperatures the steam flows over its internal components or veins. It's similar to a, how a car radiator works. Why do we use a heat exchanger? Basically to salvage or reduce heat loss and can remove unwanted heat from other components. Check valve which is a one-way valve that flows only in one direction. RTD probe. The RTD probe is a temperature sensor that measures the temperature related to the amount of resistance felt on the sensor. A technician can insert an electronic thermometer into the port to measure the temperature inside the chamber. Or they can use a digital multimeter to measure the resistance and convert resistance to temperature.